This video will focus on the Revolve tool in Fusion 360, where we'll model this skateboard wheel. So let's get started. You may wish to create the same revolved body of a skateboard wheel, or you may wish to create something simpler, for example, a cone, a sphere, a torus, or a water glass. You may wish to digitally model a product that you've got at hand in your pencil case or at home. Just make sure you've got a ruler or calipers available. I've created this from the help of a dimensioned image, which you can find in the link below. This is it here. It is best if the image is similar to the example on the screen, that is an orthogonal projection with dimensions, that it includes a front, a side, and even better yet, if it includes a sectional or cross-section view, that is that the body is cut exposing the profile or the anatomy to be revolved. Jumping back into Fusion, now we're going to go through and create a sketch of the product dimensions. This is going to be a box that's 50 mil high by 30 mil wide. This is to make sure that we're drawing at a scale of one to one, because we know this should be 50 mil high, 30 mil wide. I've already gone through and created this. That's this box here. So when I copy this image, or save it and import it, it's going to be to scale. To go through an import, you need to go to insert, click on canvas, and select your image. Once again, I've already gone through and positioned it correctly, just to save time. You can see I've moved it into, uh, into place, and so therefore, when you're importing it, it's likely to be in the wrong position and at the wrong scale. To go through and change that, I'm just going to go into edit. It's going to appear like this on the canvas where you can change the position, change the scale and rotate that. When you're satisfied with it, you're going to select OK. In this case, I'm going to cancel it so it's back to as it should be. Now we need to go through and start creating the sketch of the profile that you wish to revolve. Once again, I've gone through and already sketched this profile. Before I begin, I'm just going to turn off. I no longer need the one-to-one -one scale of the wheel. And within this, I've created the sketch of the profile of the wheel. And notice how I've used the line tool and the three-point arc tool to create that profile. Once you've completed that, and if you're unsure how to go through and create sketches, check out the Create Sketch uh, video within the playlist. Once you've complete, now draw the hor horizontal line at the center point of the wheel, zooming out. That's this line here. This will be used as the origin and axis upon which the profile will revolve. That being, it's the center mark. To complete the revolve, you just need to go up to under the solid tab, create, revolve, and notice the instructions there. Revolves a sketch profile or planar face around a selected axis. Select that. Open the revolve palette. I'll just cancel these for now. Select the profile to revolve and select the axis to revolve upon. It can be from the origin um, axis or from the example that we've gone through and created. I'm gonna turn off the canvas just so it's a bit more, a bit clearer. And now we can complete the revolve within the revolve properties within the palette. You can change the type, you can change the angle, uh, freehand. You can change the direction. By default, it's two point, so you can make it one point. Sorry, one side. Symmetry. Or two sided. 
Lastly, you can change the operation. And so there's joins, cuts, intersects. By default, it will be a new body. If you're unsure of these, check out the extrude um, video within the playlist. Once you're happy, select OK. And you might have noticed that the original, I've applied a, an appearance or a texture. To go through and complete that, you select modify, you go down to appearance. Within the appearance tab, scroll down to the library, look through the different materials in the library and expand them where you can download if need be, or select and drag and drop onto different faces and bodies. Thanks.